What's up guys and welcome back to Software Auto Solutions and today we're talking about Rust and its latest updates that it's brought out. Now a lot of people are experiencing FPS loss, stutter in game, just in general a bad gameplay experience. The FPS is dropping by a lot and you're getting like weird stutters in your game and stuff like that. So today I'm going to show you what you can do inside Windows, inside your graphics settings and also inside the game itself to have a smooth gameplay experience. All you need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year. And yeah, let's make this video short, sweet, and simple. Let's jump straight into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is just go to the search button over here and type in settings, just like this. And press enter, and then go to gaming over here, and then go to game mode. Now, for a lot of people out there, this actually does work, or it might not work. It depends on your personal machine that you're currently running. So try this out. I know that for NVIDIA users, if you are an NVIDIA user, especially people with lower end nvidia graphics cards or even higher end it doesn't matter go ahead and turn this on it actually does help with fps especially in rust itself and in a lot of other games just in general all right once you turn this on you're going to go to graphics settings over here and you're going to go here which is hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now this is very important for people out there with lower generation graphics cards to have this enabled trust me it does help you with fps and it's going to increase your fps by a lot especially if you are running lower generation graphics cards like amd or nvidia whatever the case might be go ahead and enable this now i know a lot of people don't have this option over here so don't worry i got you covered so you're just going to click on the browse button over here and then you're going to go to where your steam is installed obviously and you're going to go to steam apps and then common and then just click on anything and press r and you can find rust itself and you're going to click on the rust exe file which is the largest file inside here and you're going to say add now once rust has been added inside here all you're going to need to do as you can see it says the exe you're going to click on the options over here and go to high performance and let it select your dedicated graphics card that you're currently running so it uses your gpu instead of letting windows decide what's happening because you can let windows decide if it needs to use the cpu or the gpu i highly recommend you go ahead and choose your dedicated dedicated graphics card if you have a dedicated graphics card and click on save once you're done with that you're just going to close out of this and then you're going to go to the search button over here and you're going to type in edit power plan just like this now this plays a very big role for people out there that's having stutter in the game right especially if you're running this game on a mechanical drive a lot of people are running this on a mechanical drive and not a solid state drive so i know it does take forever to load into the game but this might help you just in general you're going to go to power options over here now for a lot of people out there you might not have some of these settings that i have over here because you're playing on a laptop now don't worry about that all you're going to need to do is go to create a plan and you're going to go to high performance over here and you're going to say best plan for rust just like that and you're going to say next you're going to make sure it says never never and say create now we have a best plan for rust you're going to click on change plan settings and go to change advanced power settings. Now this plays a very big role and as you can see it's active right now, best plan for Rust. This plays a very big role for people out there that's running this game on a mechanical drive. If you're running this on a mechanical drive or a solid state or a M.2, it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and go into this box and type in zero, click anywhere and it's going to say never. Then it's going to say turn off hard disk after never very important for people with normal mechanical drives that has a disk inside of it all right so you're going to go to processor power management and you're going to go to minimum process state and turn this to 100 you can just click on it and type in there 100 and then maximum process state also on 100 now for laptop users you'll get something that says plugged in or on battery what it will do is it will force your cpu to run at its highest frequencies all the time when you're playing games so go ahead and change it to 100 percent apply these settings and then just say okay and then you can close out of this now this is for nvidia users if you are an nvidia user like me it doesn't matter what nvidia graphics card you have just right click on your desktop and open up nvidia control panel just like this once it's opened up like this what you're going to need to do is go over here where it says adjust image settings with preview and you're going to go inside here and make sure that you have this selected over here where it says use the advanced 3d image settings and you're going to click on take me there you are going to copy every single setting i have inside here now yours might be different than mine trust me yours might be different yours might say times two or times four or some bullshit here by anti-analyzing and image scaling and stuff like that i highly recommend you just go ahead and copy every single setting that I have inside here, all right? Shader cache plays a very big role on stutters in the game, so I highly recommend go ahead and change this from where it's normally on default driver, change it to 100 gigs. This is to do with your GPU itself. You're going to go to 
power management mode and prefer maximum performance. What this does is it runs your GPU at the maximum frequencies that it can run at its maximum clock speeds. Now there's much more in-depth things that you can do with your GPU to get even more FPS out of your game, but that's doing overclocking. Now, if you want to see overclocking and how to do overclocking and stuff like that, make sure to become a member on my YouTube channel and I'm going to start making dedicated videos to GPUs, CPUs, RAM, all those stuff. So you can get about 40 to 50 to 60 FPS increase with lower end GPUs, just lower end machines in general, right? Prefer maximum performance and then select your dedicated graphics card over here. I highly recommend you go ahead and select your dedicated graphics card, not auto select. Otherwise, your computer is going to decide if it's using your CPU or your GPU. So go ahead and select your dedicated GPU. This you're going to put on high performance. I highly recommend you go ahead and put this on high performance. If you are looking for an FPS boost inside Rust, then go to high performance. You can also go with performance. It's either up to you. It depends on you. It depends on your GPU that you're running. If you're running newer end, lower end, whatever the case might be, lower end, high performance. Mid tier to high tier performance. I don't really recommend high quality because you are looking for FPS boost, so go with performance or high performance, right? Put this on clamped and this on. Make sure that this is on use the 3D application settings, virtual sync, so your game can tell you if it needs to use virtual sync or not, which is vSync, right? Once you are done with this, I highly recommend that you go ahead and turn this on over here. It's very important to go ahead and turn this on. And then this one over here, what it's going to do is it's going to try and use all your gigahertz and threads and cores to push out. So if you basically turn this off or on, your machine is not going to know what to do with itself. If you put it on auto, your machine will auto detect what it should do while playing Rust the game, right? Once you're done with this, you're just going to click apply at the bottom and then you're going to go to config surround and physics and you're going to select your dedicated GPU. Do not say auto select, do not say CPU. The only reason why you would click on CPU is if you have an APU, meaning you have a CPU with a GPU built into it. I know like what, 10% of people on the planet has one of those. I know that 90% of people have dedicated GPUs, so go ahead and select your dedicated graphics card and say apply. Once you are done with that, you are going to go over here where it says adjust test of color settings. Now, this plays a very big role with Rust's contrast, digital vibrance, and you don't have to use NVIDIA filters or AMD filters, whatever the fucking case might be. Just go ahead and copy these that I have right here at this very moment. It's very in-depth to make your game pop much, much more and just look overall much, much better. You saw how, how cool my thumbnail looks? The, the color of the thumbnail? It's because of these settings. That's how your game's going to look. It's going to pop with color if you change it to this. This is your own personal preference over here. You can change it a little bit higher, maybe 85 or even 90. It's your own personal preference. Depends on your screen that you're currently running. You can just go to image 3 and then move this thing and you can actually see the digital vibrance. What's going to happen inside your game, all right? So I'm just going to put this on 80, which is my sweet spot for my thing right now. I'm just going to apply these settings. Once you apply these settings, you're going to close out of this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to jump straight into the game. I'm going to show you the best settings you can use inside Rust at this very moment just to have a smooth gameplay experience and boost FPS overall. All right, let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the settings I'm currently using myself with a 9700K water-cooled overclocked with an RTX... 2060 OC overclocked and 16 gigs of RAM with different timings and overclocked as well. This is the graphics settings I was using before doing this optimization guide for you guys. This is the settings I was using, okay? And this is the image effects I was using. So basically everything was on except depth of field. And then this was on, off, on, and then off. This plays a very big role in this game. Trust me, it does. Let me show you the comparison. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, now I'm doing about 100 and what, like 140 FPS. This is what you're going to change the settings to. Just copy my settings over here and you should be good to go in graphics. Copy my settings. You can just pause the video if you want to. Copy my settings inside here. Go ahead and copy these graphics settings. Then the image effects. Basically, SMA is the best anti-analyzing. Put everything off except sharpening. Plays a very big role in the game. So go ahead and leave it on. Put this off. And then I highly recommend off, off, off. And then put this on this because it will make you load into the game much faster. And ladies and gentlemen, basically, as you can see, the game still looks exactly the same. But I'm boosting about almost 50 FPS more. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, your new year. And as always, peace.